most children he committed um, violent acts, said being baited, retaliation, or being bullied were the main reasons. Do these reasons resonate with you guys and what you've experienced? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, um, unfortunately, you know, bullying, if it's relentless, a lot of people do have, do have breaking points. Um, no matter how big or tall or short or small someone is, I feel like people do have a fuse and, and can just, just have a mental breakdown and just go on a crazy rampage. And, and a crazy anger, yeah. Sorry. I was just going to say, like, in terms of the being bullied one, a lot of, I feel like as well, if, if you're being bullied and then maybe they might think that because it's happened to them, it's okay. So it's okay if they do it to someone else. So, like, it's what they're used to as well. So, yeah, they just carry on and do it to someone else. I think retaliation is a big one, especially between gangs. Like, I heard a lot of, like, yeah, so-and-so did this to my little brother and the the person was a gang member and then the whole other gang goes and retaliates back and then now someone's killed or someone's stabbed to death sort of thing. Um, so I think that's a big one when it comes to fights. Like no one wants to be seen as the weak one. I was going to say, like, from my experience, from and I, we have a divide right now between the north and south side of the And a lot of my friends who have died or who are in jail now, it's because of retaliation. Something might happen to one of your friends, and then because it happened to your friend, you feel angry. And you direct that anger to who did it. And then it's just a constant back and forth, double note effect. And then the younger generations go into that culture, and then they lose people, and then they retaliate. So the cycle keeps going on and on and on. So retaliation, I think, is a huge, huge factor into this. And it's a pride thing as well, because I think when you have less, you appreciate what you have more. And when you see people disrespecting what you have, who you love, the little you care about, it's going to hurt you more compared to if you have a lot. I think maybe that, that could be why retaliation is, 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 is one of the main reasons, I think, for you violence. I feel like that also goes into when I was saying before about the principles, like things that sound small are so big when you're involved in that life. Like being, like, I know like, if you're not involved in a certain lifestyle like that and you get beat up, you know, you're not gonna be happy, but you will carry on your life. Maybe, you know, call the police, get it sorted. But in that lifestyle, you can't snitch and now everyone thinks you're an idiot. In your head, you think the whole world is, is taking you for an idiot, I feel like. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the last thing you wanna be thought as. I think also going back to bullying, um, when it comes to the younger kids, I feel like bullying is something that affects them even more. Like, I'm not saying if me as a 20 year old, someone bullies me, you know, I won't have my own feelings and wait to react on it. But I think kids actually internalize a lot of these things. Like, I've talked to kids that they get bullied. You ask them how they feel about it. And I'm not kidding. This one kid told me he wants to be a gang member just to retaliate. And that's a year seven, year eight kid telling you, yeah, my dream is join so-and-so gang. So then when I'm older, I can just go back and like do them what they did to me when I was a kid. And it might be, it's not funny, but when the first reaction might be like, oh, I laughed and like, ha, ah, you know, odd. But now thinking about it, it's like, how serious is it that a kid wants to grow up to be a gang member, no police officer, no teacher, not even, doctor. I don't know, doctor. Boys. Bin man, I don't know. He wants to be a gang member just to retaliate because he got bullied. Um, Show, shows like a lot of hatred and upset. I definitely. think on that as well, like, like bullying definitely is something that's like it sticks to you for life. Like even if you don't even realize it when you get older, because like when I was younger, like definitely things that like happened to me, like that's still with me 100%. Like people don't realize it, but that's something that it's gonna stay with you forever and people react in different ways. They're gonna retaliate or they're gonna do it back. Like everyone takes things differently. There's also like the concept of displaced aggression where you can't take out your violence on whoever's done that to you because the consequences so you would retaliate or direct your anger towards someone who's perceived as less as a threat to you. And then that kind of creates that domino effect as well where you've been bullied so to make yourself feel better, to release your anger, you pick on someone smaller than you or someone weaker than you, and then they become a bully, and then someone else becomes a bully. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's hard to navigate. 
Yeah, well, like I said, with the whole bullying thing, one thing I struggled with a lot through my early years, obviously not, not too much now, because after 18 plus, it wasn't a big deal, at least in my head. But as a kid, one thing I hated, and obviously hated getting called too, was like, obviously, I was quite small in, in height. I was really small, so obviously when people would like tease me or try and bully me for being super small, it just, you just get, I just get super angry about it. Or like if someone would go, oh, you little midget in an argument, it would just be, be like a fight straight away. And I feel like with bullying, yeah, it does definitely, um, it just creates an anger you wouldn't even think you were capable of, it's crazy. And when you're that age as well, like, yeah, like you're, you, don't, you don't know how to, I mean, some people might, but like, some some young people aren't going to know how to like regulate their emotions yet, so they're not going to know how to how to like what to do with those feelings, and yeah, they're just going to get angry or however people react. It's yeah. worse because if people the sad thing is if people know it bothers you, they do it more. Yeah. I think that's the most annoying thing about it. So the more bothered you get, the more they do it, which makes you resent them even more, and then just creates the barrier of oh well, you know, you get upset about it. But yeah.